And now let us pray for ourselves and for our world. God of all life and each life, each week our prayers combine with those of people in many different places. We face many different challenges and also a common challenge, responding to the pandemic, though in so many different contexts. We thank you for honoring all our prayers with the gift of your spirit so that we can find strength and wisdom that we need. We can find it in you. We remember before you today people living face to face with war and violence. In those places where hatred has been stirred up and fear stalks people on their own streets. We pray for all of those displaced by violence those seeking refuge among us or in camps and communities around the world. God, speak to us a word of peace. We remember before you today people living face to face with so much economic uncertainty. For those who have lost their jobs or worry what may happen as this year unfolds, God, speak to us a word of reassurance. We remember before you today people living face to face with discrimination and social prejudice for those who are bullied at school, at work, or at home, for those who are made ashamed of who they are. God, speak to us a word of dignity. We remember before you today people living face to face with illness and suffering for those struggling with disability made more complex these days in the pandemic. For those who know grief or anxiety, especially those cut off from comfort or support by months of pandemic isolation. And this morning we pray as a congregation for Anne Chalupka and for her family, for Mike, Jordan and Taylor, as she begins her stem cell treatment tomorrow. God, speak to us a word of healing. We remember before you today people divided by differences of race or creed, of culture, of gender, or generation. We pray for all of those who seek to build bridges of understanding and cooperation across differences. God, speak to us a word of reconciliation. We remember before you today your whole creation and its many vulnerable facets and faces. Teach us how to care for the rips and tears in the fabric of the world you love, so that we may live together wisely. God, speak to us a word of wisdom. And so, joining our voices to Jesus' followers around the world, we invite each other, we invite the world itself to come and see as we pray the words that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing hymn, 778, Lord, you give the Great Commission. <laughs> 